this is Mohammed Shakil here and here I'm going to show you how you can use the trim trim extend and uh, break command in the sketcher workbench so the sketcher workbench is already open so what you can do right now I'm going to show you I'm going to make a profile over here and uh, I'm going to create some lines so that I can first describe what exactly does a break do so as you can see over here this is an independent line and this is a line that that makes a boundary for between these two lines but this line as you can see it's a part of a rectangle and it's an independent line so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna break this line over here I'm gonna select this line and uh, I'm going to select the breaking element as you can see the command is breaking element so what happened is this line is broken right here so you can select it and you can remove it so now let's see how a quick trim works quick trim is a very useful tool as I personally recommend that you can use this tool wherever you want to trim so you can select the quick trim and select wherever you want to trim so as you can see here you have trimmed it completely so now let's see um, now I'm gonna remove whatever there are. Now I'm gonna show you how you can use the trim extend command. So trim extend, what exactly it does is actually once you click a line, it actually extends on either sides till it makes it meets with a boundary or it moves straight away. So if you want it to move till this boundary, you need to select. As you can see, the line is getting highlighted so just do the same command so that you can complete and get back to our initial rectangle so this is it so i hope this uh, three commands are going to be useful on your long run working with katia v5 so i hope you enjoyed thank you